Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is uh, a KCL and KVL question. Okay, but this is what I will I want to call it uh, work uh, smarter, not harder. Okay, let's see what do I mean by that. And this question says find Vx as uh, polarity assigned as such and V1 if I0 this current I0 is equal to 2 milliamp and we'll use KCL and KV, KVL. Now IA here is not given to us. Okay. Now the classical approach, which is 90-95% of the questions, you have to apply it, which is you assign currents in every branch. So we will have here this is I1, this is I2, this is I3, and this is I4. Okay, now this I0 is known to me, and this is IA. So we have one, two, three, four, five different currents. I can come up with five equations using KCL and KVL and solve them, and you will get the right answer if your quest, uh, equations were correct. Okay, but in this specific question, you might be able to solve the whole question without the need to go through the KCL and the KVL systematic approach. And this is what I call think smarter. And what I would strongly suggest to every student before you start solving the question, look into it. Spend 30 seconds. Can I get some of the variables without the need to go through all this rigorous uh, procedure of uh, finding the currents of every single branch? And when I look here, I look to Vx. Vx is in this branch. Okay. Now, this Vx is part of this loop and when i look to this loop the values here are known in the other branches so every other branch that uh, that make this loop we have its voltage so if i apply kvl to this loop loop number one i can find vx in one step so here if you apply kvl if you go uh, clockwise, so we have Vx minus 6 minus 6 equal to 0 or Vx is equal to 12. Okay, done. Vx is done. How about Vy? Now, this is Vy. Okay, so is Vy in a loop that we know the voltages? No, it's not. Okay, but wait a second. We know I0. I0 is 2 milliamp, so this voltage V, V is equal to 2 kilo, so 2 times 10 to 3 times the current, 2 milli, 2 times 10 to minus 3, this would cancel, so this is equal to 4 volt. So the voltage here is equal to 4 volt. So now if I look to loop number 2, I know 6 volt. I know 4 volts, so I can find Vy directly. So apply KVL to loop number number 2. So what do we have here? We have 6 plus 4 plus Vy equal to 0. So this means that 10 plus Vy equal to 0, or Vy is equal to minus 10, 10 volt. Done. In two steps, I solved the whole, the whole question. So uh, sometimes you don't need to go through the rigorous process. How, how you can tell, just look to the question before you start. Before you start putting all these variables, can I get some of the required variables without the need to go through all processes? Look to the loops. Is there a loop that has everything known except one unknown, then I can find this value directly. And see here, we solved the whole question without even finding IA. So in two, three minutes, I solved the question. And I could solve the question also if I spend 30 minutes writing all these five equations and KCL and KVL and solve these simultaneous equation, equations, I will get the same answer again, but I wasted my my time. So that is, uh, I would I would say a trick. Sometimes uh, you will see it in some of the questions that you don't need to solve the whole question to find your variable.